Hey guys, what's up? Mark Rue here of Open Builds. I'm going to take you through the procedure of setting up and running your first cut using your Open Builds interface controller. So for this video, we're going to assume that you've already gone through the documentation and set up your interface. It's a one-time setup. Go ahead, go through, get your Wi-Fi connected. You can use the interface without Wi-Fi, but it's just really nice to have the latest, greatest updates as soon as they're available. I also want to point your attention to this magnetic mount. This is something I'm going to do a build for later. It's basically just a cell phone knuckle mount. I've got a steel plate, adhesive plate attached to the back, and man, it's great to have. So we'll get into a build for that later. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on your first interface project. So here is the logo or sign that we're trying to cut out. You can see it's about five inches wide by 24 inches wide and about three quarter inch thick. We're gonna cut this out of a white pine board. Not gonna get into the whole cam side of setting up the tool pass and all that, but just wanted to give you an overview of what the design looks like. And it looks like it's gonna turn out super cool. So let's go ahead and get started. And this board is 11 inches by 35 inches roughly. So we have plenty of room there to work. I'm also going to be using double-sided woodworker's tape. If you guys haven't used this before, it's really nice. When you have a cut that's not super intense with uh, torsional forces on it, this works really good. And then this way we don't have to set up clamps or hold downs. And for demonstration purposes, I think this will work out really well. So let's go ahead and put some tape on this. After you're done your cutting, the only real way to get it off is to kind of roll it off. It doesn't leave any residue behind, it's really nice. On this project, like I said, I have plenty of room for the logo to fit in this area. So what I want to do is I want to lay it out just anywhere in here, but I'm going to do it relatively in line with the front of the machine. So I've got a piece of rough saw and lumber here. All right, line this up. Front there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Plenty of room to work with. Just press it in place. All right, so no hold downs, but this will work great. So as soon as you turn your black box on, the interface also kicks on and it'll go through the boot up sequence. Everything will be ready to go. You can actually jog at this point with the arrows, which is super cool. We want to bring the router all the way to the front left corner. So let's do that now. Let's go ahead and remove this dust shoe so we can see what we're doing. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna show you how to use the interface to probe for the starting point of this project. It should be said, you don't have to use a probe. You can kind of eyeball things and get things working that way, but to be honest, the probe is really nice because it gives you the exact starting point every time. All right, so the first thing we wanna do when we're probing for the start point of this project is put the probe on the corner of the material like you see here, attach the magnet to a flat spot on the collet, and now raise the puck up and touch the bit. On the open build probe, you should see a green light shining like you see here. That means we're making a good connection. The next step is we need to jog the machine so that the bit is hovering over top of this start hole in the puck. Make sure you lower your jog speed down on the ATM buttons here. You can see jog speed plus, jog speed minus. I've got mine lowered down to 25%. That'll help slow things down so I can jog easier to that position over the hole. Let's do that now. And that looks good. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to run the probing utility. So click on Tools and Utility. We're going to click on Probe. Scroll down because we want Probe XYZ0. This will make our starting point. Don't click OK just yet. If your probe has a tendency to wiggle around a little bit, you may just want to hold it in place with a couple of fingers while it does the probing utility. All right, so let's go ahead and hit OK. It's going to go and do the Z first from the top down. There you go, I found the Z. It's coming over to do the X now from the side. There you go, it's going to come out to the front here in the middle, and it's going to come back and do the Y axis. Okay, probing is complete. Okay, so at this point, we finished our probing procedure. The machine now knows where zero is. I could hit go to zero at the top right here, and it'll bring that bit right to that front corner. And that's exactly where we want to start. Let's go ahead and jog the Z up and out of the way a little bit. And I'm gonna put the dust shoe on. Go ahead and click on the bottom ATM button here, load. Scroll through till you find 
What you're looking for in this case, the open build logo. And now you'll see this highlights green. Okay, so at this point we're ready to run the job. We turn the vacuum on, we turn the router on, and hit that go button. Say this turned out super cool check it out really looks amazing paint it up it's gonna look sharp congratulations on your first cut using your open builds interface CNC touch controller we look forward to your project so be sure to share it thanks for watching